See, I think so much of our intelligence lives here. We would not have the brains we have if we did not have these hands. And when I'm working at a really deep level, these hands simply take over. People think today's chaotic in American culture, believe me. I was born into the Second World War, lived through the Korean War, the Vietnam War. Millions of people were being murdered around this world. And two themes that have been important in my art have been the Holocaust and our dropping of the atomic bomb. Part of the art has been the healing of the world itself and listening to my body in a different way. I'm from a generation we were never taught to listen to our bodies. We were to override that no matter what. Listening to my intuition is when I'm truly working from the depth that I can work. My heart opens in a way that it never has before. The pieces are teachers. This is all about language. It's like a discovering a language in the stars. How do concepts connect with each other? What fabric is made? Dealing with cancer has created a wholeness that I'd probably been working towards my whole life. Going through six intense months of medical interventions as well as non-Western. It's like rebirth and having to change a lot of habits like a child again and to learn again. It's not the easiest thing when you're in your 80s to learn new habits. <laughs> it's given me time to look at the history of the work. I'm so struck how different themes have repeated. Because of new technology like Photoshop, I can take some of those images and use them again in a very different way than I imagined when I was painting them. So that's what frog dreaming comes out of. I think so much about how things begin with a grandma and how those stories then get transformed, just like our DNA through the generations. And it's very special to have three generations learning from each other. I treasure each moment. Grace is thankfulness. And when I'm working on work, I am thankful. <laughs>